in order for this roll to operate properly, it does have to be mounted as a dead shaft either. So the center shaft is fixed, and the roll face turns around that. So as this roll is rotating, this rubber, the rubber sleeve that's mounted across has to stretch for 180 degrees. Then it contracts for the next 180 degrees. But what your material does, it enters on the short side, it, wraps, it enters on the contracted side, wraps around the roll, and exits on the long side. So as this roll is rotating, this rubber sleeve is stretching for 180 degrees, and that's the portion that your web is laying on to take wrinkles out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to web this up so you'll see how it runs. So right now, the way this roll is operating, you'll see that this section right here is completely wrinkle free. Now what I did was, up on top, you'll see that this roll, I'm building roll, uh, wrinkles into this material on purpose. I have this roll skewed to this roll. So if you come over here, look at this dimension, this mounting block. You can see this dimension is much there, uh, this edge is not flush with this, but on the other side, the mounting block is flush. So this, this roll is, is skewed on purpose to this roll. And you'll see wrinkles being put into the material. You'll also see wrinkles in this section because of the non-linear, non um, uh, the non-parallel rolls, you'll see wrinkles in that section. If you come over here, you'll see that all those wrinkles are removed and the web is perfectly flat coming out of the wrinkle stop.